This is my Magic Super Nintendo controller, which when turned on broadcasts a Wi-Fi network that you can connect to, and then in that network there is a server, which is a controller, that can host any ROMs or emulators you want to play. You select the game you want, and you start playing from the controller. It's a really nice setup, and this whole week we're going to be talking about how I built it. Now, if you want to get ahead of the class, the full build video is out now, I'll link it in the bottom left. But for now, let's look at the internals. Inside we have three circuit boards, a battery, a connector to connect to the other side of the controller, and and a power button. These are all off the shelf components. We have an ESP32 microcontroller connected to an SD card slot, which is powered by a charging circuit, which is connected to the battery. Then we just have this five pin connector to connect it to the input side of the controller. All in all, those components cost about $25. And if you add on a cheap donor controller along with a battery, you're looking at about $38, $40 for this build, which I think is a very reasonable price for a project like this. Now, tomorrow we're gonna talk about how this actually reads inputs from the controller. So look forward to that.